Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Okay, we here. What's going on, everybody? I'm Scott. I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. Show. Thank this you morning. for tuning on in. This is episode number nine. 19 to close out the week. So next week will be a fresh week with the 20s. So that's going to be pretty damn good. Silly 20s. Damn. Can't believe we're already up in that piece. Okay, so we have to get into something big you from yesterday. We, we are just live. Welcome live. back, John. There's our fearless leader. Um, all right, so Stephanie... Can you wanna? We need to get Stephanie over here because we're gonna do some local talk, as in <laughs> Schenectady versus Niski Yuna. Uh, I'll go get Stephanie. Are they the same thing? I'm just eating some nuts. Are they differently? So, oh, we got some nut talk coming up in minutes here, ladies and, and gentlemen. Don't so don't you go nowhere for that nut talk. The world famous Sam Hunt jokes. Oh yeah, They're and coming. Sam Hunt jokes are definitely happening in this episode. So I am here all alone, and I guess uh, so. We're gonna be doing this local thing, Schenectady. First, uh, Niski unit. And to set it up for you ahead of time, it was brought up that they were the same thing. And then yesterday, Stephanie was like, no, dude, they're not the same thing at all. I don't know how you feel about Niski unit and Schenectady, if they're the same thing or not. So you could comment away down there. What's I'm going on? I'm waiting for Stephanie. She's sending an email. Okay, so she's, uh, she's, well, we'll get she's in. violating the number one rule of the cubicle show, which is don't do work during the cubicle show. Yeah, what's the you point? You either watch the cubicle show or you're on the cubicle show. Those are your... Listen. There are two options when this show is on for people in this office. Get, you watch get in there. it... Get in there for the real thing. You watch it or you participate. Stop working. Okay? Real Listen, talk. Who comes to work to work? Nobody. Not us. The only reason you come to work is to goof off and get paid. Is this Stephanie? Yeah. Okay, great. So... All right. Stephanie, welcome. Do you want a chair? Since you're here... What's, what's Pull up a chair. Still keeps here. Chair. Here. It doesn't need a chair. No, no, no. We need a third chair. We got to have a roundtable discussion. And Pete's on it right now, so he doesn't need his chair. I can't steal. Take uh, take, I'll take, I take DJ Irox chair. Okay. <coughs> Furniture. <coughs> All right. So Niski Yuna first Schenectady. If you live in Niski Yuna, you technically live in Schenectady, right? Yes. So you're from Schenectady? No, I'm. It's like two different towns. So explain to us the difference between Niski Yuna and Schenectady. Just two which things. one's good, like... which one's evil? <laughs> Why don't you want to be from Schenectady? <laughs> it's like Colony and Gilderland. Like, you don't no, them to no, 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 no. Colony and Gilderland. That was the comparison Gilderland. I was looking for okay. yesterday when or I was trying Col to talk. Or Gilderland and Albany. Okay, all right. Like, you know, like the city's like right Colony next has to no comparison. Or like Clifton right Park and Half Moon. Yeah. Okay, they're basically the same. Clifton Park and Half Moon. Yeah, it's pretty much is what I'm all getting at. Okay, is so you're that, saying that... Well, does Half Moon people go to the same school as Clifton Park people? Because then it's not the same. Yeah, no, a lot of them like, do. people in Miss Yuna, <laughs> and then people in Schenectady go to Schenectady. Before we proceed, I want to take Steve's recommendation, and I would like to have you spell both Schenectady and Niski Yuna uh, for, for the audience. I can do Niski Yuna. All right, let's, let's hear, have you spell Niski Yuna. Uh, I'm gonna take I don't a believe shot that she at can. it. I don't even know how. I don't know how to spell it. N I S K A U. That's not true. A N something S C H E N E C T A D Y. Yes, connected. You left the you left the Y at an Iski unit. Oh, that's all you missed. You just you just glossed over one. I never really spelled. Uh, <laughs> he says I win. Okay, so she's she just don't want to say that she's from. Schenectady because she's embarrassed of it for some reason. So if you're from Schenectady, make Stephanie sure you get saying, at Stephanie. Yeah, she's saying you should be embarrassed of yourself yeah. if you're from Schenectady. I never said that. Now she you're definitely words did. In my mouth. You, you, you buy, no, buy absentia, some of you my said. friends live in Schenectady and they are great. She's kids. basically saying if you live in Schenectady, you just need to be like, no, I'm from Niski. No, I didn't say that either. Do you think wow. that Niski is better? She's a hater. Hater. Do you think that Niski is better than Schenectady? Like, yeah, she does. You can tell. Yeah. No, overall, oh. just in terms of everything. No, I think in sports we're better. What about what about Colony? Do you think Nisky is better than Colony? In sports? When no, in, in everything. In, I'm not talking about sports. We're talking about just overall quality of life. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't know. Why not? Because I like. Have you never been to Colony? Yeah, I haven't gone to their high school. I'm not talking. To the <laughs> I'm not talking about high school. I'm not talking about sports. I'm talking about what it's like to exist there. That's all. <laughs> What do you mean you don't I know? I literally go to Colony for the mall. And that's that's a mistake! Colony's the best place in the world. Okay, That's so, where I live. 
So that's that. Now, let's talk about property And it's better rights. than NISQ-9. I'm not afraid to say it. So earlier Everyone today... Everyone else can suck it. Bill was trying to get himself claim the old school rock band okay, guitar oh. controller. To, and Stephanie to, just lost it and was like, no, you, you can't take that. I'm an evil person. <laughs> it's a setup evil. today. It's I a complete setup on you. We got you okay. good today. Okay, Stephanie. all right, all right. This... Look at this. <clears throat> it's for PS2, which nobody PlayStation uses. PlayStation 2, Guitar Hero 3, it's just a controller. The game isn't even in there. And I was like, this thing is 10 years old. It's for an obsolete system. And I was like, yo, is I'm just going to take it, this is off is the yours? floor. Because, no, it belongs it to the yours? floor. No, 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 it's it not belo the floor. It, it belongs to, to Albany Broadcasting, to... the company that you work Who for. Who bought it? I don't know. Exactly. How do you know that it belongs to Albany Broadcasting? It could have just it could have been placed there by Santa Claus what as if, a gift for me. What if somebody was walking through the building and it fell out their back pocket and it was supposed to go and uh, lost and found? Let's oh let's see what John says about this because we uh, need to go off the chain of command anyway. John, can you uh he's not over there. With this? No, he just he just, he just oh. circled around. Oh, nice. So there's this PlayStation Two. Guitar Hero controller. Get into the screen, right? I'm right? And I went into the closet and I was like, you know what? I've been looking at this every day, every time I come into the prize closet for the last like couple months. What is it doing here? I was like, I'm just gonna take this home and give it a good home because it's ten years old. It goes to a system nobody has anymore. You still have it though. I still have it. Yeah. Oh, and Stephanie's like, no, you can't take that. It's not yours. And I was like, yeah, but what is it gonna do? Freaking, just occupy space in the closet? What's the, what, what's the point of that? Great. This is what you guys are talking about today? This well, is fun. I mean, this, we've worked we're our way about, here. Yeah, we've got to here. So what are your thoughts on that, We well, did some local talk in the beginning. I think you should take it. I mean, it doesn't really pertain to anything important anymore. It's not relevant. It's 10 years old. What? It's a 10 year old. <laughs> I don't even know whose it was. <laughs> Neither, Neither does Stephanie. Nobody Stephanie's knows. It's so funny. Uh, I mean, what are we going to do with that, Stephanie? Who are you going to give that to? Sam Hunt jokes coming up in minutes. That's called a tease. <laughs> so, can I just give away everything in my closet then? Thank you. Only the stuff that's <laughs> 10 years old and nobody wants anymore except yeah, for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this like, was before you. I know, that's why I said I, I can't give it away It was before me. Yet. Maybe oh. Chad knows what's going on. I know where it's from. He's I been here forever. It's from. We got it because we used to use them for jams remotes. And we had oh. DJ Hero too. Yeah. So Scott would be the one who would need. No. So who bought it? It was around lug nut time. Okay, so guess what? That would be under my jurisdiction. He can have it. It's okay. all good. Cool. All yours now. All I do is win, Xbox kids. Xbox two, that's in there too. The Xbox One. Wait, I'll take no, the Xbox One. That's a different one. story. Yeah, that's that. a new system. No, that's no, no, a giveaway. No, no. That's, that's like legit. I'll take, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's for a listener. Exactly. No, it's literally from 1975. It's been under since I started. Wait, there's an Xbox? Like an, so an old school Xbox? Like a discussion Xbox about Niskiuna and Schenectady and what's yes. better? So basically, she basically said that said she that hates Schenectady. If you're from Schenectady, Schenectady, Stephanie hates you. Trash. I never said whoa, that. whoa, we never said the trash thing. That she, just came out. That's was, just what you she said. Was a, she's wow, that was so natural. She's implied. a snob. <laughs> I'm not a snob. I never said she's like, any of these things that you're putting words in my mouth. Sam Punch jokes in minutes. Didn't you go to Schenectady? I said, didn't you go to Schenectady High? Because we were uh, trying to find a question about something. I never went to Schenectady Ooh. High. I'm from Miss Una. See, see, that kind of condescension right there is what gets you pegged exactly as a snob. Like exactly. You kind of did. No, who's, who's sitting over the lab? <laughs> who's, who's, what's going on here? <laughs> it's a parade of faces. Oh, yeah, Stephanie, how do you feel about that one Thanks, guy hitting on you the other day through the show? Oh, did you see the one guy that said, say hi to Stephanie for me? Or maybe, do you, maybe you know him. I wouldn't know because you don't have Facebook, so I can't tell if you're mutual friends. Oh, I don't remember. I don't know. He, he was from Brooklyn or something said, like hey, that. Hey, what up, Steph? You know anybody in Brooklyn? What? A couple people. Yeah, see, okay, we're... Well, maybe it was a Steph fan. Multi-city, multi-state, multi-national yeah. show, the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show, broadcasting live worldwide. So basically, the whole beginning talk, page. which was just local talk, if you're not from the 518, Thanks you have for, no idea what we're talking about. Thanks but, for toughing it out. But you get it. Just take two towns. Yeah, you get it. Okay, what anyways, is, let's what? get to these sandwiches. Uh, there's too. an explorer. There's a free... There's a um, conquistador in the background looking for... New territory to. Ooh. Chad, do you have any Spanish, like, lineage? O'Hara? Or just, uh, habla español? No, just like, I mean, family history. Because <laughs> uh, I don't want to call you a conquistador. I don't want to, like, appropriate cultures on your behalf. In Spanish class, there was no Spanish way of saying Chad, so I was Jose. Jose. Oh. Jose. Jose. Was it Jose O'Hara? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, All right, so Sam Hunt jokes. Let's do them. You want to do? Do we want to get yes, him out? Let's, let's do them. It. It's, it's time. It's time. So Sam Hunt's got this song called "Body Like a Back Road," and I thought one day I was like, "What does he mean by body like a back road?" Like, 
all bumpy and dirty. And then I was like, you know what? That's Facebook material right there. So then oh. I started firing them off. And then Marissa was like, curvy, duh. And I was like, oh, yeah, of course. Um, and I was like, I was thinking, you know, maybe infested with all types of strange creatures or, you know, uh, full of holes that are bigger than they should be <laughs> or, like, you know, not, not well-maintained or, you know, like, deserve to be driven over by a truck because I know, I know some bodies like that or, um, you know, doesn't get plowed very often. But then you got to think, who, Yo, would, stop. who would write a song? <laughs> Who would write a song about a body like that? Nobody, people don't oh write, God, write songs about undesirable bodies. <sighs> so yeah, those, that's, there you go, finally. <laughs> the freaking faces, I don't know, I don't know who's doing the faces. You're killing me. But oh, they're like they today. float by like oh. like parade balloons every so often. Oh my god, that's the funniest segment Thank of you, all Scott. time. Scott, oh my god, you need we need to do the Scott <laughs> Pank uh, school of courtesy chuckling because you are just killing it right now. Woo! All right, so we finally okay. did it. We did the Sam Hunt joke. Okay, so let's uh, talk about Drake real quick. So Drake okay. posted a picture the other day of him in a similar fashion to uh, pose in a similar fashion to his Take Care album cover. So, so he's like, like sitting like, by the table, like looking all downtrodden. Yep, yeah. same kind of hair, same mm-hmm. like shirt, all that type of stuff. And everybody's like, dude, oh wow, Take Care too, trending, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. So number one is, do you think Drake is in the right space to possibly? create a sequel to arguably his best album ever. No, I do not. I think Drake has kind of gotten lazy and all of his work is very derivative nowadays. But to be perfectly frank. I think he needs to get in a relationship, get his heart broken, mm-hmm. I think and he's, then he can do I think he's feeling too. himself a little too much. You know, he's Drake. He's like the king of the world. He's got like $100 million. He's got, you know, he could just basically get with whatever chick that he wants. He, just, he was like, we went from Rihanna to Jennifer Lopez to some French model to... You know, what? Here come the faces again. Um, so good. I, <laughs> I it's it's got to be like Steve. He's, you don't think he's in the right space though. So when do you think, like, when you have arguably your best album, do you think you should do sequels like right away, or ha- like when? So when people do like a part two, like Take Care Part Two, or let's or, say Ka- Kanye does like uh, Culture Two, That's college dropout. But you know, see, yeah, I think college Culture dropout, Two would late be registration. Yeah, like well. If you did college dropout two or whatever okay. sequel, even though they Back don't to make college, any sense, just so I can drop out. But you know what I mean. So it's like I think if you wait time in between it, you lose the feeling of the album. Yeah, I, like if the you're, Migos. Here I'm going to talk pause about the Migos. Migos doing culture and then following up with culture two. I think that makes sense because you're kind of in the same space and culture wasn't their first album, so it's not like if it it's was, a big difference. If it was their first album, would it be okay? It'd I'd be say no because. That year, usually, from your first album to your second album, you're on the road, you're living differently. I think it's... That's why everybody's sophomore album usually sucks. Okay. You have your whole entire life to make your first album, then you make your second album a year, two years later, and you're on road, so it's only that experiences. Usually, your third album is good again because it's been four years or so, five years since your first album, and you've been able to live life again. Usually, I think sophomore albums are rushed. See, I, I would have to say, I feel like I've had the exact opposite experience with the music I like to listen to. The first album is usually rough and unpolished, and it's like they kind of know what they're doing, then by the second album, it's like this. They, they got their sound figured out, and this sounds good. That's how I... You know, like, you take a look at, like, Fall Out Boy, for instance. Their first album is like, it's okay. But then their second, From Under the Cork Tree, like, instant classic status. Yeah, well, I know I, you don't agree I, with instant classics I, in any yeah, sense, I don't, but... N- n- any music. Except... But never it's mind. one of their best, so... Well, I, I get what you're saying, but... They still, that was still like, you know, there's a difference between making an album that you go and you record yourself and then having a label behind you pushing true. you. Yeah, also I true. I think there's a big difference between those type of albums. Like your mainstream debut. So do you think Drake is ready for no, Take I Care don't. 2? No, I don't. Do not. I think he needs a, in a big public relationship again, get his heart broken. He needs a reality I think he check. needs to get like engaged, think everything's going to happen to him, and then everything just drops out, and then Drake is like super sad. And then go record Take Care too. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's I think he's a little too happy. That's that sounds really bad to say, but like you know he's making these goofy whiskey ads with his dad. He's yeah, it's like everything's a joke because so, Drake owns everything. So I, I think you're right. I think we're on the same page. So today they're going to be live streaming OJ Simpson's parole hearing. Um, now, all I got to say about that is is that if you don't want to do anything at work today, you could probably watch that because your boss is probably going to be watching it because they're probably loving it when it was all going on. So. Watch away and don't do nothing at work today, and then you can 
sent a thank you letter to OJ being like, yo, dude, uh, this uh, Thursday, the... The, what, what's today's date? Today's the 20th. On Thursday the 20th, thanks to OJ, you were able to watch live streams instead of do work. And then don't do any work tomorrow because there's no cubicle show tomorrow. Yeah. Take yeah. tomorrow off. You don't need to come in. Yeah, exactly. Because the only way to get through the day is to make sure that you watch the cubicle show you know, to okay. get yourself up. So, so here's one thing before we... Uh, real quick, I know, about, I know we're going we over. I just yeah, want to do one thing time. real quick. <clears throat> we can save nut talk for next week. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... Let's just say you've already had your birthday this year, right? right. So yeah. just take the age that you would be with your birthday, right? All right, so if my birthday had already passed this year, I'd be 31. Yep, right, so take that. Okay. So t uh, add your age and the year of birth that you were born, right? 86, okay, so 31 plus 86 is like 117. And you're going to get 2017. This only happens once every thousand years. Mm. Not at all, because no matter what year it is, <laughs> that's not true. Shout out my cousin Kim for texting that right there because it was mad funny. And shout out my cousin Tiffany for responding and getting in on it because it was all funny conversation here. All right, so now just so we don't piss off people in the office, we got to wrap it up. Okay, so that's it, and that's it for this edition of The Cubicle Show. Um, wait, Play us out. Theme song. Oh. Any minute now. All right, guys. We'll see you next Thursday. Monday. Or Monday. Show. Monday morning. Show. Monday. 10.30. Show. All right, Dan. We need to come up with a dance for this and then teach people how to do it. Yeah. It involves shoulders. Oh, we're getting the heart because the show's over. <laughs> you can Millie Ross to any theme song. Boy!